back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Holly. I'm a homeschooling, homesteading, frugal living mom of four, almost five, like literally any day now. <laughs> Amazing kiddos. And I wanted to, um, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I wanted to give you an update on like our homeschool situation, what we're doing, and also showing you what I have picked out, what we're going to start using this year for homeschool. So if you want to find out, just stay tuned. Has anybody else's summer like just flown by? Because I feel like this has probably been one of our busiest summers that we've had. And it's kind of frustrating because my whole intent was to take things easy, have our easy routine. And I think of all the, let's see, of the how many weeks of summer we've had, I think we've done two of like our normal, slow summer reading, all that fun stuff. So anyway. I wanted to give you a quick update on what our school situation is going to look like next year. Um, number one, um, last, oh gosh, how long ago was it? Probably last March. Um, I was in a bit of a rut. I had a really, I know you've heard me say it before, I had a really hard time with the, um, with like the winter this year because we had a really wet, cold winter and spring. So I really, really struggled. And um, also I was pregnant. And even though I wasn't super sick or anything, I had a lot of lack of motivation. And so um, also talking, I've talked to you about it before, about one of my kids kind of having some issues in the reading department slash um, we're not really sure if she's got some learning challenges there or not. So we actually, um, I felt like I had to do something different. What we were doing wasn't really working. So we looked into a, it is technically a public school here, but it is a hybrid school between homeschool and public school. Is That's the best way to say it. So basically I'm, um, so we actually tried it out last spring for about, we were in the school for about two months. And how it works is you go to school twice a week and it's basically like a co-op and they teach, um, they cover all the subjects and then you at home teach them three days a week. And then, um, so we decided to go ahead and we're going to try that again this year. Um, the two teachers that were paired up with my kids that are going into that or that are at that age were amazing. Um, they were very helpful. And, um, so we're going to, <laughs> As long as things stay kind of the same way that they are, that is our plan going into this fall. But that being said, we're actually starting homeschool on our own um, pretty early on in August. Like y'all know that baby's coming literally every day. I am officially 36 and some change weeks. So I'm literally at that home stretch. So I am actually looking at starting school, probably just math and language arts or just like real easing into it the next in the next few days. Because my hope is that if I can get a couple weeks in and kind of get the kids into a good routine, it might make it easier. My mom is here helping. It might make it easier. to. So we are um, basically starting with that, but I'm actually starting my kids earlier and I did pick up a bunch of stuff. I got math and language arts from the Good and Beautiful. So I'm going to do a little unboxing today because I've not actually opened it yet. So I just want to give you an idea of like our curriculum pick. So with this school, they do provide a different curriculum, but the nice thing about it is you can do whatever you want at home. As long as you're covering the same concepts or similar concepts that they need to be covered in that grade, the teachers don't really care. So that is what I'm planning on doing because I really like the program, especially for the math and language arts with um, the Good and Beautiful. So, and I also got, and I will show you whenever I find it, but um, so we're starting with my fourth grader this year. We're moving her up to level four language arts with the good and the beautiful. I'm really excited to go through this and see how it is compared to the other levels we've had. She is my very strong student and she tested into level four this year. So we're actually skipping level three because we did level two last year. Um, and I know that they like changed the, um, my understanding is they changed the levels and they're changing them all to be closer to grade level two. So I just felt it was better to put her on grade level as she, you know, obviously shows that she can do it. So yes, yeah, so we're doing level four language arts, which I think it's also when they start creative writing. So I'm kind of interested to see how that goes and kind of excited. So for my four year old, we decided to get the preschool course book. So I am planning on working with him when he is um, 
individually when my two are at their co-op basically because they will be going twice a week and then that way I can devote a good hour or maybe 30 minutes however long I can get him to so he'll probably be doing this like twice a week maybe a third time a week if we can kind of squeeze it in but um I wanted to get something a little bit more concrete for him um because he is going to be going into kindergarten next year and I want him to be ready and I want to be able to take our time so that he doesn't like get overwhelmed by everything. And if he is showing like signs that he's just not ready, then we'll probably try to do something else. But at least this will give me lots of good ideas to kind of get him started in like that school vibe, so to speak. So these are the two things that were in the first box. So, and also I got this last or two years ago and we're probably going to keep going with this. This is their creative art creative arts and craft projects. I um, pretty much pick a couple different ones. We don't do a ton of crafts because I'm not super like patient when it comes to craftiness, but um, I'll probably do these more with the littles with my two littlest ones because even my youngest, even though she's only two and a half, she still wants to be a part of it. So I want to do a few things in here that she can do too. And then we're going to start with where I'm hoping, so I bought this last like winter maybe. And I wanted to do readings um, this spring, but I think we're going to start this fall and this is going to be our first read aloud we're going to start, which I want to do the Little House on the Prairie series. So I wanted to read through this. We're going to try to finish this book by fall, like the end of like Christmas break, hopefully. I'm just doing like one chapter a day. So, and um, of course the days that they'll be at co-op, we probably won't read, but this is what I'm trying to start with is some of the Little House on the Prairie series because I think they're ready for it. So... Next is our math curriculum. So I had to buy the new, the nice thing I like about the Good and Beautiful is the, I ended up having to buy another math box because my kids are really hard on their math box supplies, which was very frustrating, but it is what it is. So I um, went and bought another math box and then, sorry, trying to get that out. So this one is going to be for Miss Malia, so she is uh, going into third grade, so she's doing math number three because she seems to be right on par where she needs to be with math. So I got this, and the nice thing is, is you know, it was really affordable that I was able to replace the math box. I'm going to try to be better about hiding it from them, but unfortunately my children are a bit ridiculous and they find everything. So forgot to add before I sign off, I have already got level one of the old language arts for Malia. So that is what she's going to be starting on. I have it packed away. I haven't been able to pull it out yet. I will be doing that shortly. So I wanted to let you know that, yeah, so basically Sayla will be doing level four, Malia will be doing level one of the language arts and then level three and four of the math. So that is what I have bought. And then everything else the school um, that we'll be going to is going to provide it. So I just wanted to put that in there because I totally forgot to pull that out before I did this unboxing. This, um, and then of course, Sale is going into math four. So we are doing um, math four. I know that this is a little bit different. I've heard that there's more, um, like more individualized. And that is my hope is that to help her to be more independent this year. That's kind of one of my goals is I want to get to her to where she can work you know, kind of sit down, do her work while I'm working with her sister and possibly her brother. And then she can come to me with questions as opposed to having to sit there with her, making sure she's doing her work. So that's kind of one of my goals. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get there. So this is what we're doing with math. Um, the co-op does cover science and social studies slash history. So we are not doing any of that yet. So that is kind of what we are starting with. I am reserving the right to, um, like pull them if we don't feel like it's a good fit anymore. The kids really enjoyed it last year. I feel like it was a really good balance between um, my kids. A, they're still home with me most of the time. I'm still the one doing most of the teaching so I can help cater things to their individual needs because I do have some kids, like I said, with some learning issues. But also it gave them um, some, like they've already made some friends. They had some birthday parties they were invited to this last summer, which was really exciting for me because obviously, I'd like my kids to feel like they're, you know, part of a community. And the co-ops that we've done in the past were great, but I don't feel like we've ever had it translate into, you know, outside of school relationships. So that's kind of what I'm kind of what I'm shooting for. So that is our plan as we start school. I'm going to try to film our first day of school so that you can kind of come along with us and see how we do and just kind of, yeah, showing you how it's going to be this year. I'm hoping like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited for kind of the, hopefully the best of both worlds. And hopefully this baby will come at a 
convenient time, which I know I'm kind of laughing, but basically she's due soon. Well, like I said, I'm 36 in one week, so she's, she's due soon. So we're just trying to figure out like how to, like I said, I want to get some stuff started before things go crazy. So anyway, I better wrap it up here. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.